I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. To the graduating class of 1997, members of the Board of School Directors, parents, faculty, administrators, relatives, friends, welcome to the 1997 West Allegheny graduation ceremony for the first time being held in the Joe D. McCullough Stadium. My responsibility this evening is to let you know as the audience that the students who sit before you this evening are academically prepared to handle the challenges lying before them after tonight's ceremony. As a way of fulfilling those responsibilities, I'd like to cite a few statistics about the accomplishments of the students who sit before you. 43% of the class are honor students. There are seven highest honor students. There are 18 high honor students and 49 honor students. It may not surprise you then to know that 88% of the students will not end their education tonight but continue on with a high total for West Allegheny of 51% of the class who will be attending a four-year college. 21% of the students will attend a two-year college. 8% will continue with technical training and 4% will continue their education while protecting our country and the armed forces. But the most telling statistic is the one that will surpass all other classes that will have graduated from West Allegheny. Because as small as this class is, they have been awarded over $1.1 million in competitive scholarships to continue that education. That is quite an undertaking. That is quite an undertaking for this class, but it's also a tribute to our dedicated faculty, to our committed guidance counselors, Mr. Strimmel, and also to Mrs. Gannon, but especially to for the accomplishments and success that we have with the guidance counselor who's leading tonight, Ms. Bozo, and also to our faculty member, Mr. Harry Sherbondi, who both will be retiring out tonight, as well as to our administrators, Mr. Moran, and also Mr. Romano. But if you read the statistics on success for kids, you will find that the single most important ingredient for determining future success is not us, but you as parents, you as family, and establishing the expectations for excellence which these students are being honored for tonight. So before we go further with honoring them, we would like to take a moment to honor you would please the parents and grandparents of the students of the class of 1997, will you please stand so that we can honor you first? Please stand. Thank you. But to continue to speak of statistics of the success of this class would do them an injustice because they have such character, such determination, the ingredients that will make them successful, and I would like to give you examples of every student if I could tonight, but because of the time constraints, I can only give you a few that best represents the quality of the people we're honoring this evening. Sitting here tonight, there are two outstanding students who are National Merit Scholar finalists. There is our valedictorian who will speak after me, who not only is a scholar, but a recognized classical pianist, as well as an Eagle Scout, who will continue on with his education for his lifelong ambition to attend Annapolis next month. There is a young man who has multiple sclerosis, who comes to school every day, determined to be like everyone else, and he has such a model of dedication that we will all remember his example. 
There's an individual who had went out for track because he wanted to get into shape for football. But instead, he brought great pride to West Allegheny because of the success that he had as a state track champion. There's also a young lady who is considered to be the top percussionist in the state, not because of her talent, but because she had the dedication and determination to work harder than everybody else. There is a young lady who holds two and sometimes three jobs because she is the sole supporter of her family, but she still had the grades, she still had the tenacity to continue on with her education. There is another young man who is considered to be a computer genius who is already serving as a consultant for businesses in Pittsburgh. There's a young man who broke his ankle when he was in Little League, and many thought that he was finished with his career in athletics, but through sheer determination, he overcame that injury. In fact, he has an academic athletic scholarship to Cornell starting next year. There is a young lady who is a mother, but she is the sole support of herself and her child and has kept her academic record so she can go on to college to prepare herself to give her family what they deserve. There is a young man who has a permanent eye injury as a direct result of racial prejudice. He continued on, and even with those afflictions, he's going on to college next year as a four-year program, full scholarship in basketball. There is a young lady who, during track season this year, injured her leg and needed surgery because of the pain. But because she was on a relay team, and they depended on her, she continued to run through the pain and went on to states because of her competition. There is a young man who, because of his own unselfishness, allowed a person to be able to spend time in this school district helping others and never complain because his father was not at home helping him because he was trying to help others. This class consists of quality individuals who we will see many times over once they leave us the success that they have. They are our credit to themselves, to you as family, and to the West Allegheny School District. They leave a legacy to us that will be hard to duplicate. But in the meantime, because of the success and because of what they have meant to us, on behalf of the Board of School Directors, the administration and staff, we wish them the very best of success and luck, and may God bless them always. Thank you.
Good evening. I'd like to welcome all of you here this evening, parents, administrators, teachers, honored guests, and the class of 1997. This is a very special night in our lives, one that we will remember for years to come. I hope that all of you have as many fond memories to look back on as I do. Life has provided us with many experiences, some good and some bad. If we can benefit from our positive experiences and learn from our negative ones, then we can definitely succeed. These experiences have shaped us and molded us into who we are and how we approach life. And that's what I would like to talk about tonight, approaching life. People look at life in many different ways. Some as a never-ending line of troubles and things to get done. Others look at life as one big party. But for tonight, Let's all of us view life in the same way. Let's look, like, let's look at life as a series of stepping stones, offering us opportunities for success. We should see tonight as a first step to a new beginning, as a window of opportunity, a chance to embark on the journey of our lives. These upcoming steps in our lives are extremely important ones, involving many decisions and choices. However, it is not something to shy away from. Rather, you must crave the finish. You must crave success. Because of our years of constant studies, learning, and preparation, we are more than ready to take these steps with determination in our eyes and success in our minds. Yes, this journey ahead will not be There will be difficulties, troubles, and even failures. But, as Colin Powell once said, there are no secrets to success. It is a combination of hard work, preparation, and learning from one's mistakes. Another comforting thought just sung by the chorus, is this. You will never walk alone. You will always find someone there ready to help you if you look. Think back through your schooling. Whenever you had a problem, there was probably always someone you could talk to. For some, it may have been your parents, your teachers, coaches, friends, or any significant person who was there when you needed them. And we definitely cannot forget God who has been behind us and backed us for every step of the way, whether we knew it or not, no matter what we did or how we acted. I cannot begin to thank all of the people who have helped me to become who I am today, but I would like to take this opportunity to express my appreciation for everyone who has helped me along the way. From all of my teachers, Frau, <laughs> coaches and family, to my friends. I would also like to thank three special people in my life who have made such a large difference and help me to achieve all that I have. The first is my coach, Mr. Hamilton. Mr. Hamilton has been a driving force behind me for the past two years, always pushing me to work harder, to achieve more, and to perform better. And I'd like to thank him for his constant support and backing. The other two people are my parents. What can I say except thanks. Thanks for being there for me, and thanks for never letting me walk alone. The purpose of this speech is this. It doesn't matter what we are attempting to do in the years ahead, whether we're trying to earn that law degree or land that job or make that sports team. Each of my classmates have different ideas of what success is to them. And I say to all of you, go for it and let nothing stop you. So let's not be sad about what we are leaving behind, but look forward in eager anticipation towards the opportunities for success that we have awaiting us. The world is out there waiting waiting for the class of 1997. Thank you. Good evening. It is indeed a special pleasure and privilege for me to be with you here tonight with so many parents and family members and teachers, board members, administrators and friends all here to honor you, our very special seniors this evening. You heard an excellent speech tonight from Rob Brinzer, but that's only one of your incredibly talented classmates here. An example why this, the class of 1997, is one of the most outstanding classes to ever graduate from West Allegheny. I, I do have a special attachment to this class, I must admit, because when you began your schooling in 1984 in kindergarten, 
That was the year that I came to West Allegheny. And as you graduate this evening, I also move on to new challenges. As a tribute to you and all the classes which have graduated before you, I've taken the privilege to take some comments from my previous uh, speeches to share with you this evening. Uh, special occasions like graduation always present us with a great paradox. It's happy yet a sad occasion, a time of both uh, laughter and sadness, laughter and tears. I know you're filled with enthusiasm and yet much apprehension. It is indeed an end, but also a beginning. Tonight, as you sit on the field with your friends and classmates, you have come to the end of a remarkable journey and the beginning of another. To your parents, it seems like only yesterday they took your first baby pictures. They held out their arms to encourage you to take your first steps. They sent you off to kindergarten. They invited your friends to your birthday parties or taught you how to, how to ride that two-wheeler running like crazy up and down the street until they were exhausted, holding their breath, hoping you weren't going to fall. And now they're here again tonight holding their breath, but for other reasons. As you continue that journey and enter a new phase of your life, adulthood, I'm sure all the parents are out, saying, out there saying, where did all that time go? But before you step into the future, take a moment to look back. Take one last snapshot of those sitting here in your caps and gowns, who of you have come to know and love, and unfortunately, many of whom you may never see again. Think of the teachers that have touched your lives. Consider all those school experiences that you've had, the sporting events, the assemblies, award ceremonies, in-school suspension, field trips, dances. Actually, that wasn't written. I just added that. Bus rides to and from school, the plans you have made with your friends and family, and finally, what you will share tonight with your families and carry these very special thoughts and visions with you always. But as Rob so aptly pointed out, remember that life has both joy and suffering, and they are part of life. Difficulties will not always pass you by. View life as a pattern of sunlight and shadows, and be prepared to deal with adversity in a positive way, in a positive way and learn from your experiences. Always believe in yourself, Rise above those things that make us different and focus instead on all those things that make us alike. Treat others with dignity and respect. Be gracious and share your love and kindness generously. Remember, what we are is the world's gift to us, but what we become is our gift to the world. I challenge you to be generous and kind. The world desperately needs more people who care about each other. I challenge you to be courageous and do what is right, despite what others might see, think, or do. Never give up in life or on life. And always remember, there is no right way to do the wrong thing. I challenge you all to be leaders and make the world a better place in which to live. Live a life of dignity, respect, and love. The 21st century belongs to you and is yours to claim, either to improve or to destroy either to perfect or to impoverish. The quality of the world will be determined by the quality of your thoughts, your judgments, and your actions. I wish you continued success and in the wonderful worlds of the great philosopher, someone whom you know very well, and author, Dr. Seuss, who took us on many magical journeys. He said, be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray, or Mordecai Alley Van Allen or Shea, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is awaiting, so get on your way. May you approach your journey to that mountain with confidence, with kindness, courage, and fond memories of tonight's celebration. And now by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the West Allegheny Board of School Directors, having completed all requirements of the Commonwealth and the West Allegheny School Directors, I hereby declare the members of the class of 1997 here assembled graduated and entitled to receive a diploma and all the privileges therein. We do ask from all of you that you please hold your applause and your cheers until all the members of the class have received their diplomas so that all the families and all their friends may hear the calling of their graduate's name. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as superintendent of the West Allegheny School District, it is my privilege to present to you the West Allegheny graduating class of 1997.
Michael J. Schultz, high honors. Kathleen Marie Schmidt, high honors. Elizabeth Mary Buckley. Dina Marie Campbell, with honors. Megan E. Chavez Carney. Timmy D'Angelo. Nicole Lee DeMarc, with high honors. Carmetta Ann Denk, with high honors. Carrie Ann Devaney. Sean G. Donaldson, with honors. Christina Lynn Dorsch, with honors. Bethany Joy Dunn. Tiffany Renee Feather, with honors. Jonathan Charles Fowler. Amber Marie Gazda, Rose Ann Gergerich, Nicole Marie Giving, Christina Lee Gray with honors, Michael Gregory Henry with high honors, Kelly M. Ireland, highest honors. Thomas Benjamin Cars with honors. Nicholas Brian Kachuba with honors. Megan Lynn Kopko. Stacy Lynn Coons. Robert Lucas Prinzer, with highest honors. Nicholas J. Lowry, with honors. Sabrina Don Zorowski. Amy E. Wright. Janet Lynn Wicks, with honors. Cheryl Jean Wilson, with high honors. Mark Thomas Walk, Jennifer Marie Volterno, high honors, Jean Louis Robert Thompson, Danielle Ray Thomas with high Thompson, with high honors, Jennifer Lynn Stedman, with high honors. Joshua Alvin Saverio. John H. Scott, Jr. Michelle Renee Sires. Andrea Marie Santee. Jessica Lynn Ramalli, with honors. Rebecca Kathleen Raby. Lisa May Pager with honors. Carrie Lynn Nelsnick with high honors. Christopher James Morissetti with high honors. Allison Lynn Miller with honors. Adam J. McNally. Melanie Melissa Link. Alicia Corinne Leininger with high honors. Jennifer Robin Answorth. Jessica Lynn Allen. Bob Baku. 
Melissa Ray Bages, with honors. Daryl C. Baker. Tiffany Concetta Barrett. Jason David Barris Marich. Christy Lynn Belair. Joy Lynn Benson with honors. Scott Matthew Picker with honors. Tracy Marie Black. Eric Scott Boring. Jared Nathan Bosted with highest honors. Lisa Beth Bowen. Robert A. Bricken. Bracken. Robert A. Bracken. Robert Ryan Bray. Rochelle Suzanne Brinkley. Jill L. Brinkman with honors. Amy Jo Braun with honors. Justin Matthew Burns. Michelle Lynn Buzon with honors. Robert Collin. Matt J. Fleming. Jonathan Ray Fitzwater. Kimberly Ann Fish. Joey Fink, high honors. Brandon J. Fedorko. Stephen M. Ewing with honors. Angela Eichelop with honors. Tanya Marie Edmund, Edmonds. Daniel Ronald Dabrowski. Kimberly Lynn Dixon. Nathan C. DeWitt with honors. Frank DeGenero, Jr. Alan Michael Davis. Michael Philip David. Anthony John Della Piazza. Sharon Marie Cumberledge with honors. Richard Joseph Kosnick. Melissa Connor. Suzanne Elizabeth Caldwell. Kelly Ann Cole with highest honors. Henry David Clark III. John Kevin Chichella Jr. with honors. Sean Cameron. Holly J. Franz with honors. Linda Marie Friend with honors. Christopher Lee Fryer. Melissa Goring. Jennifer Lynn Gray. Susan Grovener, Scott Hammersmith, Niels Hansar with honors, David C. Harbin with honors, William Joseph Hartman, Jr., Aaron Jean Heckethorn with honors. Joshua Hilbert, 
Matthew Hoffmaster. Doug Huey with honors. Michael Carl Ricochet. Rami W. Jabbar. Jason Janoka. Jennifer Lee Jobcar with honors. Eric J. Kenny, highest honors. David W. Klobchar with honors. Thadia Kachuba with honors. I'm sorry. Just wait. Son. No, we're okay. Right. Okay. Kenneth Klein. <laughs> Lindsay Marie Crawl with honors. W. Russell Muir with honors. Robert W. Morrison. Philip W. Morris, Jr. Melissa Catherine Mizwa, highest honors. Samuel Miller. Michael B. Miller with honors. Michael L. Michalek. Scott David Meehan. Sean D. McKinney. Keisha Nicole McIntosh with highest high honors. Curtis Jeffrey McElhaney. Matthew D. McDowell. Matthew Wayne Mathias. Christina Marie Martin. Keith D. Martin with honors. Gary A. Martin. Nicole Lee Marshall. Tiffany Ann Lutz, Erica Pekazowitz, Peter F. Link, Nathan B. Lamoureux, Christopher E. Laffey, Brandy Lynn Kurtz, Jennifer Louise Pace. Melissa Ann Parrish. Mitchell Forrest Parton. Kelly Lynn Pirock. Ryan Daniel Perard with hot with honors. Devin Powell, Megan C. Prive, David Casey Pulver, Toby Paul Resitar, Mark Philip Reimer, Douglas Mark Richard. Amber Lynn Roback with honors. Christy Lynn Regal with high honors. Thomas Richard Rojan. 
Neil Aaron Rosenblatt. Mark Frederick Rosen, high honors. Jeanette Marie Rupar, high honors. Shauna Lee Rosnick, with honors. Joseph Michael Scarpone. Barry Raymond Schaefer, with honors. William Robert Sheppes. David John Schuler. Michael Paul Scherbondi, with honors. Lisa Schaub. Kristen Renee Slopecki with honors. Dennis Slovic. J. R. Smith. Nick Solarsic. Stephen J. Sparbani. Polly Jean Stefanski with honors. Edgar S. Stillwell. Dina Marie Tierley. Michael A. Thomas with honors. William A. Thompson, Jr., highest honors. Christian Tisdale. Samaria Veronica Torbert with honors. Christian Trappel with honors. Brian Verkammer with honors. Wesley Walt with honors. Adrian Maria Wanji with honors. Jessica Wellsbacher, Morgan Elizabeth Winsheimer, high honors. Michael J. Yearman, Elizabeth Ann Zupsik, Ladies and gentlemen, class of 97.